This is Jim Smith of Golden Real Estate. Today we're at 2142 Beach Court in Applewood. This is a lovely 1959 brick ranch with a wide driveway and RV parking. The slight sound you hear in the background is Interstate 70. It's uh, about a block away behind the houses that are behind me as I photograph this. And uh, you don't hear it as much in the backyard at all. This is a lovely, quiet neighborhood. The street is super quiet here. And neighbors are lovely. Great backyard, storage shed. Five bedrooms, three baths, no, partial, no half baths, all three quarter or full baths. Really great home. Let's go inside now and look at it. Coming in through the front door, you're bound to be struck by the beautiful and beautifully refinished and cleaned hardwood floors in this house. They extend down into all three bedrooms, uh, not in the dining room, which is wall-to-wall -wall carpeted, but uh, really a big feature of this house. Here's the kitchen. Has a vinyl floor, gas range. People love gas. The appliances are included except for this countertop microwave. Here's a sunroom. This used to be a covered patio, but now it is an enclosed and heated sunroom. And since we're here, let's go out and look at the backyard. Here's a covered patio, still covered, but not enclosed. There's a gate to that to RV parking that you saw. And look at this nicely kept yard. Flower bed around the outside. Beautifully kept. You wouldn't know they have a golden retriever here. Yard looks really undamaged. This is not just any shed. It's got electricity. See, it's got outlets on the base, on the uh, outside, and a security light up here. And it's got a wood floor, and it's got lighting and a workbench, which stays, by the way. This and it's insulated. You could heat it by plugging in a space heater because it is well insulated. That is one great shed. Workshop. We're calling it a workshop rather than just a storage shed. Uh, while we're looking at the back of the house, the roof is is new from the last hailstorm in 2009, I think, and that's an that is a breeze air evaporative cooler on the roof. And you'll notice that it's pretty quiet back here. Here's the back door to the garage. And on the light here, the uh, garage is over length, oversized long. And here's another workbench that's included. It's not insulated, but it is very spacious. Plenty of room to open the doors on each side of the car. and extra space for that workbench. Let's go back inside now and go through the kitchen and look at the bedrooms on this floor. So I said there are three bedrooms, each with hardwood floors, and the two guest bedrooms are served by this full bath. The master bedroom has its own three-quarter bath, very typical of this era. These are, this is one of the guest bedrooms, the closet there. The linen closet there. Here's the other bedroom. These two bedrooms face the front yard. And here's the master bedroom, which has a window to the side yard and a window out to the backyard here. And here is the here's the three-quarter bath. A vanity. And one of those super quiet, quiet toilets. And there's the closet for this room, bedroom. And this is a extra deep walk-in closet. So that's the main floor. Let's go back to the living room here, get a nice view from this direction. Big picture window facing the front yard. And here are the stairs to the basement. Let's go down to the basement now. In the basement now, off to the right here is the laundry room. So that's convenient. And 
this uh, we're advertising this home is fully finished it, it's probably not accurate in terms of this room but it sure feels finished with the vinyl or a painted floor and the drywall on the that side it's also the furnace room and next to the laundry machines which are included by the way is a laundry sink beautifully done these people are very meticulous here is the largest of the two bedrooms on this floor that window is window well is to the covered porch so there's not very much sunlight coming through that window here's the closet for this bedroom and then out here is of what we're calling the family room um, by the way notice that the windows on this floor are also brand new they're vinyl windows and that they also put in concrete window wells to replace the metal ones which can rust over time here you get a view of that privacy fence the privacy fence is completely surrounding the backyard so that's a nice feature that you wouldn't have to invest in. Here's the full bath or three quarter bath for this floor. Turn on the light and the fan. Here's the shower. For... And here's the second bedroom on this floor. So again with the, a little more light here because the window wells are out to the open air. There's the backyard up there. So this it this this is the closet for this bedroom so there's nothing you'll have to do with this house everything is done the windows hardwood floors everything let's go up and outside now and wrap it up thanks for turning this fine applewood home with me today if you'd like to see it in person it would be my pleasure to show it to you you can reach me anytime on my cell phone at 303-525-1851 or email me at jim at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.